in this week's episode. I've worked out a new invention. I mean, it's not really a new invention, but it's, it's game-changing. The new boat gets a name, and we attempt the ceiling. <laughs> not being funny, you're absolutely miles away. But first, it's another mammoth delivery to carry back to the towpath. Hi, we're Jack, Gabby, and this is Tilly. We've lived on the water for three years, and we love this lifestyle. For us, it's about living slowly with intention. We are now taking on a new challenge. We've brought a sail away, a narrowboat shell, and we're turning this into a fully solar-powered, off-grid eco-home. Join us for the journey. The electrician has arrived this morning, and so has our second-hand flooring that we bought from a guy up in Durham that's been delivered by two very grumpy van drivers. Um, and now it's another day of shifting all of this from the boatyard around the bridge and then try and store all of this wood on our other boat flora. I'm going to be so fit by the end of this. I don't even want to think about how many wheelbarrow trips this took us. Maybe about 10 each, although it was probably even more than that. Because the electrician is here, we can't put the flooring into the new boat, so for now, it's taking over in here and piled up out here. If you remember, we were a little nervous to welcome Phil the electrician today. We've obviously lined the inside and we're just trying to work out how he's going to run the wires. Either by the end of this week we will have electrics or we'll be ripping out all of our cladding so that he can put the wires behind it. But I am very happy to say Phil was able to work his magic. So this boat has probably drastically changed since we last showed you what was inside. We've had the electrician in and he's run the wires everywhere for where every single socket, every single light is going to be and it just looks incredible. I'm trying to measure the ceiling every time I measure it I get a different measurement. Oh dear. So yeah we're now going to put this, well he's tasked us the electrician with putting up the ceiling and the stud walls before we can come back and finish it off. But it's yeah it's incredible there's even like where all the wires have all been kind of put where the control panel's going to go. Every single little wire is labelled. It looks crazy. I can't quite believe it. Feels like we're actually getting somewhere. But now it's quite hard for us to move around because obviously everything's in the way. So we have the flooring delivered, which is now all inside the boat, ready to be laid. Well, sort of. Sort of. Clean it first and then we can start putting it down. I had to bring it into the boat because it was going to rain last night, so it's the only place we've got to store it. Now it's time for more cladding. I think we're making pretty good progress today. We've um, treated all the boards and we've started putting them on the ceiling. But, you know, as with most of the build, we're sort of learning how to do this stuff as we go along. And I think this is going to have to come back off again because we need to cut the boards so they are in line with the battens when they screw up. Otherwise, we get these horrible, like, wonky edges. Because we all live quite close together on the canal, being yeah. nosy is unavoidable. Drama. Drama. Right. I hate these screws. Well, no, it's because I've had a taste of amazing screws. <laughs> I've been led to believe that all screws should be as good as those brilliant ones. And they're not. Who knew? Not all screws are created equal. Maybe I could do my poem about screws again. Don't. We've had a couple of days off doing anything in artichoke. Oh, hang on, let me just pause for a sec. Yes, we've named the boat. We've gone for artichoke. Arty for short. Mainly because artichoke flowers are beautiful and, well, they taste pretty good on pizza. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. 
we've had a couple of days off doing anything in artichoke because it's been raining really heavy so we've instead taken shelter in flora but today it's absolutely gorgeous so we're going to try and get the ceiling done all in one day or we'll see how we get on but we basically spent the time looking for loads of second-hand furniture to go in the to go in artichoke and it's proved really successful so we think we found the right stove um, saving us loads of money but it's also a reclaimed one which is what we're trying to do with the whole boat so we're going to go and have a look at that today we've also found a bath 50 quid 50 pounds for bargain. a roll top bath because we thought bargain. why not so um we're also gonna we're not gonna go look at that we're just gonna go for that whenever we pick up the stove and maybe a kitchen cabinet and maybe maybe some free kitchen cabinets Ooh, good so we've, we've been successful whilst not getting much progress done on the boat so we'll have a look at the stove today but for now we're gonna get that ceiling up My Robin. You some of fat balls, everyone? <laughs> Try to do a bit of ceiling. Oh, dogs are having a shake. Try to do a bit of ceiling um, a couple of days ago, and uh, we thought we'd do one of those shots where you set the GoPro up and then, well, <laughs> like, you know, it'll be like one of those lovely, like, time lapses of all the ceiling going up. We honestly thought that we'll get it done in the space of like a couple of hours. Pretty much all a Sunday, and um, all we managed to do is about four boards, including having to like put one board up, then we had to take it off because it was warped and stuff, and it's just been an absolute nightmare. So, although today we're optimistic we'll get it done, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but it's, it's game-changing. What? So I put a hot water bottle for Tilly to keep her warm and I've tucked it in into my leggings. No. And I'm so toasty, I have no idea why we've never done this before. No. When you're cruising and you're so cold because it's raining, why is there not always a hot water bottle in you? You look ridiculous. And I'm going to get little mini ones to put in my wellies. <laughs> you're not. That's not happening. That is happening. No, it isn't. That is happening. Honestly, no. I have revolutionised the winter. Absolute genius. Now, Tilly, you're going to have to go cold. It's not even cold in it, she doesn't need it. Good cow. I think she does. You're a dog, you've got fur. She's the most pathetic animal in the world. She gets so cold so quickly. Let's have a look then. Hang on. No, no, no. <laughs> this is not. No. It's actually burning me. What? Yeah, I'm red. I'm red. Well, we'll share it. Lovely. Right, well, we've gone on really far in here. Put those down. I know it doesn't seem that exciting, but that's great. It's going to be where the lights go. I'm just out in this like 10 minutes worth of gorgeous weather. It's been absolutely hammering it down this morning. But I'm just walking under the bridge at the top of where we live and it's like raining through the bridge from where the water's dripping through, but the sun is out the other end. It's gorgeous. I show you. How lovely. It's really peaceful this morning. It's like gorgeous blue skies, but it has literally just absolutely hammered it for hours. So we've been sheltering, obviously, inside the boat. When I get back, I'm gonna have a little bit of toast for breakfast, and then we're gonna try and finish the ceiling. Oh, 
So today's head scratcher is we're trying to work out where the chimney for the stove will come through the roof. That matters with where we're gonna run this wire because it depends on where we're gonna position the partition wall. Every time we try and measure it, we're getting a different, a different result. I started thinking about this first on Friday morning. It's now Monday afternoon. Now, let me just do my system then. Let's do your system and see if it measures up. Yeah, you're miles away. No, not being funny, you're absolutely miles away. Why? Yeah. Your mark is there, and my mark's here. And that to me looks straight, like straight up from the floor. If anything... What, I must have done. <laughs> what have you measured? That I, is miles away. No, I reckon what I've done is I've, I've measured 20 centimetres from the back of the flue, not including the back of the stove. What? So we are, we are, we are right. <laughs> yeah, you're miles wrong. <laughs> Fine, do 25 centimetres. Don't try and pretend that it's your idea. <laughs> Yeah, no, obviously, just do 25 centimetres. Uh, yes, thank you. Right, look. That's what I meant to do. Back I just the did the wrong thing. To the wall. I'm normally the one that's good at the maths and measurements. Aren't I? These are gorgeous. I didn't see Jack was on his own on Friday. He's brought our um, chilies in from outside. We were growing to dry them out. They look lovely. So I'm back inside Flora, our original boat, to make some lunch. We got that one board up that we were trying to get up. So we've made the right hole in the right place for the stud wall. So we've managed to put that up in the ceiling. So now, well deserved lunch break before hopefully doing a lot more of the ceiling. Probably about time that I gave you a bit of an update with where we're at. We haven't filmed a lot in here recently because we really needed to crack on and um, finish off getting the roof clad, which took so long. It was like the last little bit, it just took forever. Like honestly, two days. It sounds really bad, doesn't it? But two days to try and fit like three or four bits of cladding. Because obviously this bit had to be cut thinner um, and it was quite tricky to try and like negotiate the boards into place. But we are now done. We have a completely clad ceiling, which is really, really exciting. It's, um, it's so great because like every single step of the build, obviously you can see it coming on so much. So the jobs over the next few days is to make a start on the flooring, which uh, basically means having to clean a load of boards and try and get the first few in place. That is about it for this week. I think we need to work on our sudden endings for these videos. Next week we're hiring a van and heading out on a second-hand collection mission, including picking up something that weighs 300 kilos. Roughly the same as a grizzly bear. Please like and subscribe to follow our journey. See you next week.